Alright guys, this is just a short video on a wee hinge that I'm making for a project. So I've had this sleeve and pin machined up by a student. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut down these two lines here and basically cut a quarter section out of it and I'm going to weld some tabs on to create a hinge. I'll insert a picture now so you know what I'm talking about. Okay guys, I've cut my quarter section out of my sleeve here for the hinge that I'm going to make. Hopefully the uh, picture has given you an idea of um, what I'm trying to do here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to weld these tabs on here 90 degrees to each other. One will go there and the other will go on there also and it will create a profile like that to create my hinge I will then cut this I will then cut this into three sections for my two moving parts of the hinge so to weld this guys I'm going to use this Bok Smooth Arc AC-DC TIG welder um, It's just a single phase unit so it just runs off a 15 amp um, plug Just like your house um, And it goes up to 200 amps So it's not too bad for a small welder So I'm going to weld this, these sections over here At about 120 amps DC negative Argon for gas 10 litres per minute. Okay guys, we're going to tack it up. So always make sure you've got a nice sharp tungsten when welding on DC negative. So I've just fuse tacked it in position at the moment. So fuse tacking is tacking without filler wire. Now I will get some decent tacks down the length to hold it in place.
So it's all taken up. And as you can see, it's not quite sitting square, but never fear, we have hammers. So, a nice wee TIG weld there, as you might have noticed though, the workpiece started shaking and oil also started shaking. So what I'm going to do on the next run, I'm going to put a piece of steel holding my section down that I'm trying to weld and I'm going to run my shroud along the length of the tube to keep my hands steady. Right. Time for the second weld, so I'm going to place this piece of steel over my piece to hopefully stop it um, rattling around on me. And what I'm going to do with the torch is I'm going to rest my shroud on this tube and use that as a guide to keep my hand steady. So on the second weld we can see it's a, it's a bit more uniform. Um, you would have noticed at the end that I was, no I'm not using downslope. I'm just using my button on off action to control the heat at the end. And it seems that having a piece of steel to hold my workpiece and using um, the tube as a guide for my shroud I've been able to I've been able to produce a nicer weld. Right, time for lunch. Right, guys, here's the finished product. I've cut my section into three sections now to create my hinge. So as you can see, these two will be welded to one side, and that will be welded to the other side with my pin. 
going through the center. This creates the hinging action. So I will have I will draw a hole through here and have an R clip to locate it. And there goes a heavy duty hinge.